Hi right, kids, welcome back. Well, we saw Jonathan, how he learns how to dance. We've seen the costumes that the boys and the girls wear when they dance. And we've seen some of the instruments that they use to make music. Well, all of that leads up to what? It leads up to a big show, right? So they put all that together and they show off, they show off their dances. Many people like to come and watch the dancers. So we have a big show. Jonathan dances at fairs and in shows. Every year, all the dancers take part in a big show. Remember all the dancers. Before we saw the pictures with Jonathan, but we saw some older kids in the background. That, like I said, they have different age groups. So all the dancers, they all take part. They all, they all have a part in a big show, right? Maybe you see the older dancers dance. You see the younger dancers dance. You see the in-between kids dance, right? So all the different age groups will show off their dancing skills. Sounds like fun. Sounds like a neat thing to watch. Jonathan watches the others dance. So he watches the other age group. He watches the older kids dance or he watches the younger kids dance. It's not his turn yet. He has to wait his turn. He waits his turn. So you wait your turn. It means you're going to do something, but you have to wait until other people have finished their part first, especially at a big show or if you're playing a game where people take turns. You have to wait until everybody is finished, then you can do your turn, and then the next person goes. So you wait your turn. Soon, he will be on stage. He will be on the stage in front of many people, and he will be dancing. Well, here we can see the other people who are dancing, the other age groups, right? These are adults. They are the adults. They're dancing. And we can see the woman here with her beautiful white dress and the men in their cowboy hats and their, uh, their cowboy boots and all white uh, clothing, right? They're doing their dance. Then we have a little bit younger people here, younger people here. And then these look like these could be teenagers and also maybe younger people here. These are all the different types of dances that they're doing. And look at her dress. It's very beautiful. His shirt is really colorful, very orange shirt, okay? But they're taking part in different dances, okay? Now, now we come to Jonathan. Clap your hands. Sometimes Jonathan is nervous before a big show. I mean, think about that. Jonathan is waiting his turn. Many people are on the stage, right? The stage is in front of an audience. Many people have come to see them dance. How would you feel if you were at a Korean folk dance and you were wearing a hanbok and you were going to do your Korean folk dance with other people the same age as you? Wouldn't you be a little nervous? Yeah, probably. Everybody's nervous to get in front of other people, right? So Jonathan is nervous, a little worried, right? He feels a little worried about his performance. Will he do well? Will people laugh at him? Hope, of course they won't but everybody is afraid that they will. But when he is dancing, he forgets to be nervous. Good. Whew. Remember, whenever you have to do something, whether it's dancing, give a speech, uh, uh, do some kind of uh, sports, right? Don't be nervous. Once you start doing it, you will forget to be nervous. You'll forget about that. You just do it, okay? That's a good thing to remember. Don't be nervous. Just go on and do it. You'll be okay. Don't worry. <laughs> right? Don't worry about it. So he forgets to be nervous. Jonathan smiles and claps. So he smiles and he claps. And you can see him here. He's smiling and he's clapping his hands. Okay? The people, the people in the audience, they also smile. If you smile, other people smile. Right? If they clap their hands, the audience will clap their hands. So they're all together. The people smile and clap too. Folk dancing is fun for everyone. So everyone has fun. Don't be nervous, just have fun, right? So everybody is having fun and you can see everybody is smiling, they're clapping their hands, they're going around and around 
And here's Jonathan again, and he's smiling, clapping his hands, and there's his dance partner, and she's also smiling, right? She's holding her dress. So, it might be nervous to go in front of a lot of people and do your uh, thing, but don't be nervous. Have fun, like Jonathan here, okay? Now, as I promised before, I said, wouldn't it be fun to make your own maracas? Well, let's take a look. How can you make a maracas? Here we have some instructions or some steps in making a maracas, okay? We have one, two, three steps. Just three, very simple, okay? So what do we do first? What's the first thing we do? First, we paint two plastic bottles, paint two plastic bottles with bright colors. Plastic bottles, where can you find plastic bottles? <laughs> of course, you can find them anywhere. Go in your fridge, right? Take a plastic bottle, drink everything out of it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Your mom will get angry if you do that. Ask your mom if she has any plastic bottles that you can use, okay? she Of course, she can get you some plastic bottles. Maybe they had some juice in them. Maybe they had some type of drink in them. Or maybe you can just go out and buy a couple of drinks for Obeguan each, right? Have your mom do that. And drink them. Don't drink them too fast. You'll get sick. But drink them or pour them in something else. You have two plastic bottles. Paint them. You can paint them in any color you want. Maybe a design like this. This is a, a traditional Mexican design, right? Or you could do a Korean design. Why not? Have fun. Do your own thing. Then after you paint them, leave them to dry, right? You got to wait. You can't just pick them up because you'll get paint on your hands. So leave them to dry. After a little while, then you can uh, do step number two. Now step number two, put some dry rice in the bottles. Dry rice? Where can you find rice? Oh, this is Korea. There's rice everywhere, right? So of course you have rice. And by the way, Rice is very popular in Mexico, too. If you eat Mexican food, Mexican food has a lot of rice in it. So it's a good thing because they use rice in their maracas. You have rice as your traditional food. Rice is everywhere. Use some dried rice. Ask your mom again to give you some dry rice. She won't give you the expensive rice, but that's okay. You don't need expensive rice. She'll give you some rice. You can put it in the plastic bottles. Then after you put the rice in the bottle, then put the plastic uh, cap on the bottle. Make sure it's tight, right? So the rice doesn't go all over the place. And your mom gets angry. Don't do that, okay? Make sure the cap is tight, okay? So it won't come out. The rice won't come out. Now, you're ready for number three. Play some music. And it doesn't matter what kind of music. It doesn't have to be mariachi music. It could be rock music. It could be hip-hop music. Right? It can be any kind of music you want, but it should have be fast and energetic music. And then you can shake your maracas to the beat. Right? You can shake your maracas, and now you have a maraca. That's fun, right? So, now you have your maracas, why don't you learn uh, how to do a folk dance? Either mariachi music, you can look on the internet, see how people dance to mariachi, or you can learn how to do Korean folk dances right? And you can also use, you can mix it up, right? You can mix the cultures and you can have a fusion dance, right? Fusion, F-U-S-I-O-N. A fusion dance is where you combine two or more cultures, right? Sometimes people talk about fusion food. It's like Italian food and Korean food mixed, fusion food. Well, you can have a dance that's a fusion dance, Mexican and Korean dance, maybe. It's fun, and it's good exercise. <clears throat> so, remember, exercise is good. Dancing is fun. Why not learn how to dance? Why not learn how to do some folk dancing? You know how to, how to make some maracas. Why not learn how to dance the Mexican folk dances? So that's kind of interesting. Okay, well, we'll see you next time. I hope you learned a lot this time, and have fun, and I hope you start dancing. <laughs> okay, we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.